we'll start. Come to your module. In module, come to page number 44. In your module, come to page number 44. In that, there is something called and you see that conductance. We have studied this in 11th standard also. What is conductance? Conductance is the reciprocal of resistance. Check. Conductance is the reciprocal of resistance. Can you see that? So make a note. First thing, what is conductance? Conductance is the reciprocal of resistance. Make a note of this first. Can you see below that table what is admittance? Just check. Admittance is denoted by the letter Y and admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. Reciprocal is the, sorry, admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. And if you see the unit, unit is ohm for impedance, therefore exactly opposite unit MHO. Can I say it is opposite of ohm? That is the unit of admittance. So all these words are very simple, but in the exam, when they ask you, don't get confused. For example, in the exam, if they ask you conductance, you should know it is reciprocal of resistance. Admittance, it is reciprocal of impedance. Next one, look at this, susceptance. Reciprocal of reactance is called as susceptance. Just it. Reciprocal of reactance is called as susceptance. Therefore, today we started with all reciprocals. Reciprocal of resistance, reciprocal of uh, impedance and reactance. So three new things we have learned. In that conductance, you might have seen it last year also, but admittance and susceptance are the reciprocals. Now, if you look at the module, now they will, since there are two types of reactants, 
Now there will be two types of susceptance also. One will be inductive susceptance and one will be capacitive susceptance. Just check below susceptance itself in the module. Therefore, inductive susceptance is one upon inductive reactance and capacitive susceptance is one upon capacitive reactance. Check. Susceptance is the reciprocal of reactance. So there are two types of reactance, inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. Now, reciprocal of inductive reactance is susceptive and reciprocal of capacitive reactance is susceptive capacitance. Therefore, one by Xn or it will become one by omega L and here it will be omega C itself or two pi epsilon. So again, let us do a recap. Listen to this. The first thing that we learned is what is, the first thing that we have learned is what is conductance, reciprocal of resistance. Then we have learned what is admittance. Then we have learned what is susceptance. So three things first, reciprocal of resistance is called conductance. Reciprocal of impedance is called admittance and reciprocal of reactance is called susceptance. Actually, unit of all three can be written as mo or O minus. Unit of all three can be written as mo or O minus. And since susceptance is reciprocal of reactance and reactance is of two types, so I have inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. Therefore, one upon inductive reactance is inductive susceptance and one upon capacitive reactance is capacitive susceptance. Is this much clear? Okay. Next, I want you to see in the same module, I want you to see the side heading power. What is the meaning of Mo? Mo is the name, it is opposite of Ohm. OHM, if I take ULTA, it becomes MHO. Therefore, the unit is Mo. Or you can also take the unit as Ohm inverse. And there is one more unit of Ohm inverse. If you remember from 11th standard, it is Siemens. S-I-E-M-E-N-S. But we'll take it as Ohm inverse itself. Okay. Ohm inverse, one by Ohm, Mo. Okay. Now, everyone knows the formula for power. Can I say it is V into I? But since in AC circuit, voltage and current are always lagging and leading each other. You know that, right? In resistance, capacitance, and inductive circuits, there is always an angle between voltage and current. Therefore, the complete formula for power can be written as power is equal to Vi cos phi. Please look at the screen. Where cos phi is called as power factor. Cos phi is called as power factor whose value is R by Z. Cos phi is called as power factor, whose value actually means R by Z. So please make a note of this formula for power. So actual formula for power for AC circuits is Vi cos phi, where cos phi is called your power factor and whose value is R by Z. So again, today we have learned five things actually. One is conductance, admittance, susceptance. Then we have learned the two types of susceptance and we have learned the actual formula for power. 
actual formula is vi, but vi and I always have an angle with each other. Therefore, it is vi cos phi. Now, cos phi in this particular case is called as power factor. And the actual formula for power factor is R by Z. Made a note. Okay. Now, on page number 45, there is something called as what less current. Okay. What less current. See the side heading. Well, I have not seen the weather outside. Let's see now. See, what less current as the name suggests? Now listen to me carefully. What less current as the name? You know what is the meaning of what power, correct? What is the meaning of what power? So what is the meaning of what less? Can I say power less current? Do you understand? What is the meaning of what less current actually? What means power? So therefore, can I say a current which has no power actually means what less current? But now look at your module, page number 45. Can you see the side heading? What less current? Yes, sir. What it what it says is, if just listen to this, if cos phi is equal to zero, okay. For example, imagine listen, listen. Imagine in a circuit, my R is equal to zero. Okay, just imagine there is my resistance is equal to zero. If my R is equal to zero, my power factor cos phi, what is the formula for cos phi? R by Z, correct? You just did. Can I say even that will become zero? No. And if cos phi is zero, therefore can I say my formula for power is equal to Vi cos phi or formula for power is Vi zero. Can I say power is zero? Yes. Therefore, can I indirectly say in my AC circuit, if by any chance, if I get my resistance equal to zero, after all these steps, can I say my power is also equal to zero? Okay. Yeah. Now this current, can I say this current has no power because power is zero, but the current is anyway flowing without any power. This current is called as wattless current. Did you understand? The current is flowing without any power. That is why it is called as what less current. Now look at your module, page number 45. See the side heading, what less current. See what is written. In an AC circuit, if R is equal to zero, cos phi is zero. Therefore, my power is zero. That means in resistance less circuit, power consumed is zero. Such a circuit is called what less circuit and the current flowing is called as what less current. Did you understand this? Now, what they have written in words, I have shown you in terms of mathematical formula. So, I want you to write both. Remember, all these conditions are for what less current. R equal to 0, cos phi equal to 0, and P equal to 0. These are all conditions for what less current. Make a note quick. So, Raj, average power dissipation means power dissipation in one cycle.
Okay. Now below that there is something called as properties. Just check below what less current. There is something called as properties. See the first property. The average of what less component over one cycle is zero. That you already know because power is zero. Correct. Therefore, make a note of that one particular point. The average of what less component over one cycle is zero. Make a note. So listen to this. What we did today are the three reciprocals. Reciprocal of resistance, reciprocal of impedance, reciprocal of uh, reactance. So reciprocal of resistance is called conductance, reciprocal of impedance is called as admittance, and reciprocal of reactance is called as susceptance. And since there are two reactants, I will have two susceptance, inductive and capacitive. That was one topic. Then the next topic was actual formula for power is V into I, voltage into current. But in AC circuits, voltage and current always are leading and lagging. So always they'll have an angle with each other. Therefore, the formula for power is VI cos phi, where cos phi is actually called your power factor. And the formula for power factor is R by Z. Now over here, look at this. If R becomes equal to zero, my cos phi will be equal to zero and in, in turn my power is equal to zero. This condition is called as what less current. Did you understand? Easy till now. Nothing great. They are small topics here and there. Now, the next topic that you need to learn is on the next page, page number 49, the side heading is choke coil. Page number 49, the side heading is... Choke coil. Choke coil, if you might see, it's, it is in a tube light. Have you seen a choke coil in a tube light? Not LED light, tube light. There is a white cylinder where you turn so the light switches on and off. Have you seen that? Yes. It comes out also. Yes. Correct. And it is also called as a ballast. Okay. It is also called as a ballast. Now, if you see page number 49, can you see the side heading choke coil? So, you know what is actually a choke coil? It is a coil. Look at the screen. It is a coil which has, see here, inductance very high and resistance almost equal to zero. This condition or if a coil is this way, then that coil is actually a choke coil. A coil which is having very high inductance and negligible resistance. That means, can I say an inductive coil itself? In other words, pure inductive coil. A little bit resistance is there, but you can neglect it. Therefore, this condition is called as a choke coil. Now, if you look at the page 49, side heading choke coil, what is written? Choke coil is a device having high inductance and negligible resistance. It is used to control current in AC circuits and fluorescent tubes. Fluorescent tubes means tube lights. Fluorescent tubes means tube lights. And the power loss in the circuit containing choke coil is least XI greater than R, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm telling you what does it mean. In the exam, if they give you choke coil, you should take that coil as an inductive circuit. That's it. Because it has very high inductance and negligible resistance. Therefore, I should take choke coil as an inductive circuit. Therefore, I want you to write the side heading choke coil or ballast, and I want you to just write the first statement, that it is a device having very high inductance and negligible resistance. Make a note.
Suraj is asking, what is RL circuit? Meg, I will give you the reaction. <laughs> Suraj, RL circuit is resistive inductive circuit. For people who are asking, what is RL circuit? What is RC circuit? What is CR circuit? You have to see page number 46. Okay, for people who are asking, what is the full form? See page number 46, all of you. Look at page number 46. There is a table on page number 46. Can you see a table on page number 46? That table on page number 46, you have RL circuit, RC circuit, and LC circuit. That means resistive, inductive, resistive, capacitive, and inductive, capacitive. And all the details are given. Not necessary to learn all, but if you can learn the table, excellent. Actually, problem to problem, we can actually solve on our own by eliminating what is given or what is not given. But for your reference, you can read the table and you can uh, get it. Okay, Suraj? Yes. Last topic that we'll do now. And then we'll go back to our MCQ solving. Topic is time constant, page number 51. So we, so we have to write properties. Which property? The choke coil. No, no, no. Whatever I have to do, that's it. Nothing else. One sentence. Whatever I have written here, that's enough. Now. Time constant is another parameter which is denoted by the letter tau. Tau means same like torque. And the formula for time constant is Rc. That's it. Resistance into capacitance. So if they ask you what is time constant in a circuit, answer is only Rc. If they ask you time constant, answer is only Rc. Have we done quality factor while doing? No. While doing the actual the theory of this, have we done quality factor? No, sir. No. Quality factor is Excel by R. Make a note. Quality factor is Excel by R. Okay, now whatever extra we had to study, we have studied. I will go back to our problems. So just look at all the things that we have studied once. Okay, look at the screen. I will not say anything. Look at the screen and tell me if you can understand whatever I have written. First slide is all the reciprocals. They might not ask you this. It is not a common question for me, but in the exam, if they say find admittance. Now, the question might be easy, but if you don't know what is admittance, you don't know how to solve it, correct? Otherwise, it is very easy. You know, impedance reciprocal is admittance. So having the knowledge of what is what is very important, okay? So this is the first one. These are the two types of susceptance. Then what is actual formula for power? What is power factor? What is wattless current? What is a choke coil? What is time constant? And what is quality factor? These are the things. Uh, 
and sir uh, what about that formula which is given below the statement of time constant which formula time constant rc sir that formula is na q is equal to q not 1 which page sir on 51 only i cannot understand what Page one. Okay. Only this formula is important, not the formula that they have given. Whatever I have shown on the screen, that's it. Nothing else. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, more topics we will do as and when we come to the question. So sometimes I'll tell you the question, and you'll get a point from that question itself. So we will start. Okay. So we will start. We stopped at page fifty-five. Now come to page fifty-five itself. In that question number forty. This is the theory question, and you should know this. Uh, very rare question but nevertheless see the question radio frequency choke uses a core of it is uh, not tra transformer uses the core of iron correct but this is radio frequency choke is a very small and a very light device therefore answer for this will be air or will be air not transformer transformer uses a core of iron this is your radio frequency choke okay why it is using air it's a completely different concept of capacitor actually we're using a dielectric but for now remember this is not a transformer if it was a transformer it uses a core of iron but radio frequency choke it's a very light and a very small device in fact inside there is nothing that is why it is air therefore wherever you have written the side heading choke coil in your notebook where i have told you to write you can add this question as the point that you can write radio frequency choke uses a core of air that way question number 41 start Give me the answer for question number forty-one.
the power factor of lcr circuit at resonance is okay the power factor of lcr circuit at resonance is now please look at the screen now you know the formula for power factor what is the formula for power factor cos phi is equal to r by z and i also know at resonance z is equal to r we have already done it so can i say cos phi will become r by r now so cos phi will be equal to 1 therefore my power factor will be equal to 1 therefore answer is b just check it the power factor will be equal to 1 therefore my answer will be b did you understand Come to question number 42. Start. Come to question number 42. See the circuit carefully. See the condition. The condition is resonance. There itself is the clue. And give me the option for question number 42. Okay. An ideal resistance R, ideal inductance L, an ideal capacitance C, and AC voltmeters V1, V2, V3, V4 are connected to an AC source. Now at resonance, XL is equal to XC, correct? At resonance, XL is equal to XC. That means the voltmeters connected to L and C will be equal because XL will be equal to XC. Therefore, the voltmeters which are connected to L and C, what are their names? For L, it is V2, and for C, it is V3. Therefore, can I say reading of V2 will be equal to reading of V3? Easy? Yes. Because of resonance. Otherwise, we cannot say anything. But since they have given resonance, we can predict that V2 will be equal to V3. How do I know V2 and V3? Because XL is equal to XC. Got it? Therefore, looks like a big circuit question, but actually, it's a very simple question. Correct? Now, question number 43, try to answer. We have done 42, now try to answer 43, start. What the answer for 43? Let me know. Current in the LCR circuit becomes extremely large. Listen to this. Current in a circuit becomes extremely large at resonance. Current in a circuit becomes extremely large at resonance. Now tell me which option matches the option of resonance. That is the clue. I mean. C and D. Not D, only C because what is the condition for resonance? Resonance is 
inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance. Therefore, answer is C. Whenever they say current is extreme, okay, whenever we say current is extreme, it is always resonance. And you know at resonance, XL is equal to XC. Uh, may I study resonance in the second, second class or, or in the first class itself? What's the answer for 43rd one? Yes, sir. Okay. 46th one is your homework one. 46th one is your homework one. Make a note. 48 is your homework two. 46 is your homework one. 48 is your homework two. 50 is your homework three from this page. Now, start solving 47. Start solving 47. What is the formula for Q factor? XL upon R. Formula for Q factor is XL upon R. Now listen to me, listen to me and look at the screen. If I want to increase this particular factor, tell me how can I increase any number? Either by increasing the numerator or by decreasing, decreasing. The, the denominator or both. Either by increasing the numerator or decreasing the denominator or both. So, which option matches increasing the numerator and decreasing the denominator? Check. A. A. Large inductance, A. small ohmic resistance. Option A looks correct. Just check. Large inductance, that is numerator will increase. And small ohmic resistance means R will decrease. So, can I say these both matches the numerator denominator criteria? Therefore, answer will be A. Just check. Option C and D are automatically out because the numerator itself is a small value. Numerator itself is a small value. You are just left with option A and option B. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come to question number 53. Try to give me the answer. Question number 53. Ninety degree. Hmm. We will do it. What will be the phase difference between virtual voltage and virtual current when the current in the circuit is wattless? Means I have to find cos phi. Okay, means I have to find phi. Now you know when the current is wattless, R is equal to zero. If R is equal to zero, R by Z is equal to zero. That means cos phi is equal to zero, correct? We have just done what less current right now. Now tell me, cos phi equal to zero for which angle of phi? 90. When I say for cos 90 itself, I'll get angle zero. Cos 90 is zero. Therefore, the phase has to be 90. Therefore, the phase has to be 90. This is the meaning of what less current, is it? See, it is not zero. Cos phi is zero. That does not mean phi is zero. It means phi is 90. If phi is 90, then itself cos 90 will become equal to 0. So don't get confused saying that cos phi is same and phi also is same. It is not like that. Okay? Phi is 90, therefore cos phi is 0. Okay? Now, 
come to page come to page number 57 come to page number 57 in the j double e means come to question number 1 come to question number 1 start Okay, see question number one. Alternating current cannot be measured by DC ammeter. Okay, now listen to me. You know, alternating current is something like this. And you know, alternating current at the end of every cycle, listen to me, always ends where it started. Think about it. Correct? Alternating current at the end of every cycle, Disha, will end where it started only. Correct. That means, can I say average is zero? Can I say average is zero? Therefore, DC ammeter or any DC devices always measure average. Okay. So if I take a DC device and try to measure AC, it will always measure the average. And average of any AC is zero because it always starts and ends at the same point. Therefore, I will not get any reading in the DC ammeter. Therefore, the reason why I don't get any reading in the DC ammeter is option B, because average value of a complete cycle for AC is zero. Now, on the screen, I have shown you how it is zero. For example, if I take a sine wave, it starts here and it ends here. Clear? The yes. answer for the first one is B. Try to answer question number three. Try to answer question number three. Tanvi, correct. Very good. Others try to answer. What is the difference between voltage and current angle wise? Just check in the question. Can I say it is 90 degree? Because one is sine omega t minus 5 by 2, another is only sine omega t. Therefore, can I say the phase difference is 90? Now, if phase difference is 90, phi is 90. Now, which is the formula for power we studied? Vi cos phi. Vi cos phi will become Vi cos 90. Vi cos 5 will become Vi cos 90. Answer will be 0. Therefore, whenever the phase is 90, average power, power consumed will be 0 because cos 90 is 0. Therefore, answer for question number 3 is D because the angle is 90. Check. Because the angle is 90. Clear? Now, question number 5 and question number 10 are homework in this page. Question number five and question number 10 are homework on this page. Now I want all of you to start question number seven on the same page. Question number seven.
for the answer? Give me the answer in the message box. Oh, turn me very soon, very soon. You have to unlock my class, then I'm welcome. Okay, now, very easy question. Question number seven. What they are saying is the power factor of an AC circuit having resistance R, having resistance R and inductance L. Okay, what is the angular velocity omega? Now, what the answer? And, okay, I'm still getting okay to it. Now see the question, the power factor of an AC circuit. Okay, now what is the power factor of an AC circuit having only R and L? Now what is actual formula for power factor? Actual formula for power R factor by is R by Z. Now I know for a RL circuit, Z will be nothing but square root of R square plus XL square, correct? It will be R square plus XL square. But they have said that omega is an angular frequency, means I have to write in terms of omega. Why didn't I write xc? Because capacitance is not there. Therefore, cos phi will be r divided by square root of r square plus xl is nothing but omega l the whole square. Because xl is nothing but omega l. Therefore, I will have cos phi is equal to r divided by square root of r square plus omega square l square because omega l the whole square is omega square l square or cos phi is equal to r divided by i can write r square plus omega square l square power half therefore the option that matches is option b check that matches this option B. Say, so instead of square root, we can write power half. That is why half has come. Okay, that is why half has come. Because if you look at the options that are given, none of the options have square root in them. All the options have power half. So I also have done it in the same way of power half. Yes. Okay? Sir. Now, come to next page, question number 12. Come to the next page, question number 12. Question number 12. Anyone got the answer? Let me know.
Anyone? I just got answers from two people. Okay, very easy. Listen to this. An inductor of inductance L and resistance R are joined in series. That means it is an LR circuit or an RL circuit, correct? And what is the power dissipated? Now look at the formula. I know the power dissipated formula is VI cos phi. Now everyone listen to me step by step. The power dissipated is VI cos phi. Or can I say the power dissipated is, look at the screen, V as it is. Can I say current in this circuit will be V by Z? Why V by Z? Because it is LR circuit. Please look at the screen. LR circuit means it is having impedance because it is having both resistance as well as reactance. And what is cos phi formula? Cos phi formula is R by Z. Tell me, did you understand this term? Sir, I didn't get value to uh, V so, by Z. V what by is Z. the value for current? Cur value for current in a circuit is voltage upon opposition. What is the general formula for current in a circuit? Voltage upon opposition. Now, opposition in LR circuit will be impedance only. Therefore, I can be written as V by Z. V is written as V itself. I is written as V by Z. And cos phi is R by Z. Therefore, power is equal to V square R divided by Z square. Now, continue. Can I write this as V square R divided by Z square, what is Z square? Z is equal to square root of R square plus XL square, the whole square. Now look at the options. Now, options are, I can get the option directly because V square R I've already got checked in the numerator. Therefore, can I say my option will be close to option B? Just check my answer will be close to option B, but I will continue. Look at this. P is equal to V square R divided by, can I say square root and square will cancel and I will get R square plus XL square. Now that is equal to V square R divided by R square plus omega square L square because XL is nothing but omega L the whole square, which is nothing but omega square L square. Therefore, can I say this is nothing but option B? Check. This is nothing but option B. Clear? Yes. Yes. Therefore, question 12, answer is B. Getting it all of you? Okay. Question number 18, start. Question number 18, start. It is a direct formula check. What is the formula for quality factor? Direct formula, it's direct so substitution. Excel by R. Now Excel by R, what is it? Excel by R, which option matches? C. Option C, which is omega L by R, that's it. It is a direct formula, which we have done. It is a direct formula, which we have done. Therefore, answer for question number 18 is C. Answer for question number 18 is C. Question number 19 on this page is your homework. Question number 19 on this page is your homework. Come to the next page. On the next page, question number 26 is your homework. On your next page, question number 26 is your homework. Tell me how many homework questions are done. 
Seven. So, okay. Question number 26 is your homework. Now turn the page. Come to the side heading meet. Come to the side heading meet. In that, start solving question number two. Page number 60. Uh, now your questions come, that is need questions. So please concentrate because these are the kind of questions you will get. Start solving question number two. Okay, let us start with this question. What they have said is, in an AC circuit, V is given as 100 sine 100T and I is given as 100 sine 100T plus pi by three milliampere. The power dissipated in the circuit is the power dissipated in the circuit is. Now you know the average power in a circuit is ERMS, IRMS, correct? But I told you since it's an AC circuit, I will have cos to include five. cos phi for the angle. Now ERMS, please look at the screen. ERMS will be E naught by root two. IRMS will be I naught by root two and cos phi will be cos. Tell me the angle. What is the angle between V and I? 60. 60. Now, what is E naught? Can I say E naught is 100? 100. 100 by root two into I naught is also 100 by root two into 10 power minus three, we have to add liter. Why? Because this is given in milliampere, check because current is given in milliampere. That is why I have to add into 10 power minus three liter into cos 60 is half into 10 power minus three. I hope you understood why did I add into 10 power minus three. Now see here, root two into root two is two. Two into two is four, therefore denominator is four. Now looking at that, tell me what will be the answer for the average power dissipated start. 2.5. Answer will be 2.5, but check whether you guys are getting it. Option C. Yes. Yes. Yes, 2.5. So why did you multiply by 10 raised to minus 3? Hmm? So why did you multiply 10 raised to minus 3? Why not? And multiply whenever we want, whatever we want. But in this problem, why did I multiply? Because if you look at the question, current is given in milliampere. Check. Current is given in milliampere. And milliampere means into 10 power minus 3 ampere. Milliampere means into 10 power minus 3 ampere. That is why I multiplied by 10 power minus 3. 
If the current was given in ampere, then there was no need to multiply. Is that fine? Okay. Thank you. Question number four, your next homework. I think homework eight. Question number four, your next homework. Question number six, start solving. Question number six, start solving. This question is just for Disha. Okay, Disha, we have to solve it and you have to get the answer. Okay, start Disha. Question number six. Keeping camera off, sleeping on the bed, aram se, watching this class like Netflix, then thinking, why didn't I crack neat? I'm a good doctor, but work so hard. Now think about today, okay? When you answer neat. Start question number six. Looking at you guys, it's like a patient batch, not a doctor batch. All of you are lying on bed without any energy, right? Question number six. Let's start. Tanvi, once I have offline class, uh, we'll have an offline class very soon with all of you guys. I'm coming offline after independence. Till now, I was not coming offline, but after independence, I'm coming offline. Then you will, I will show you how need people study, especially in quota and especially in other classes. I will get some inspiration from there and start studying. Our class at least starts at seven, right? In quota and in other places, classes start at 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Mandatory camera on. Now, if we keep your class at 5.30 over one, only lecturer will come and faculties, other faculties. Question number six, this question uh, <clears throat> also had come last year, but this module was printed before that. Same question had come last year. So it is 2016, 2020. So try to answer this question, question number six and get the answer. I'll give you the data first. A 100 ohm resistance means R is 100 and a capacitor of 100 ohm reactance, that means XC is 100, are connected in series across a 220 volt source. They're connected in series across a 220 volt. Okay, I'm getting some answers already. The connected in series across a 220 volt source. Therefore, ERMS is 220. When the capacitor is 50% charged, that means capacitor is 50% charged, the peak value of displacement current is. When the capacitor is 50% charged, peak value of displacement current is. Peak value for displacement current means what is the value for current? What is the value for current? Now, peak value for displacement current means I not, I want maximum current. Now, please look at the screen. Now, can I say maximum current? Listen, listen. Maximum current is maximum voltage upon opposition. Correct. Maximum current is maximum voltage upon opposition. Now, maximum voltage is RMS voltage into root 2. Can I say maximum voltage is RMS voltage into root 2? divided by impedance. Now solve for impedance and tell me what will be the answer. 100 root 2. Z is equal to square root of R square plus XC square. Therefore answer will be 100 root 2 because both are 100. Check. Got it? Therefore can I say Z will be 100 root 2. Therefore 220 by 100 will be 2.2.
got the answer yes see there is nothing great in this there is only playing with words what you should know ha akhilesh when displacement current starts it is 50% that is why you don't have to do anything with that data you have to just take it out because in our formula we never use c we use only xc that we already know that is how they confuse it next question question number 7 start question number 7 start anyone getting the answer for question number 7 okay now listen to me in an ac circuit the reactance of a coil is root 3 times the resistance which reactance they have not told and the phase difference between the voltage to the current okay phase difference formula is tan phi correct now what is the formula for tan phi xl minus xc by r correct remember this we have done this formula but in this question they have not said whether xl is there or xc is there therefore i will just take in general x by r please look at the screen in general i will take it is x by r that is reactance by resistance or i can say tan phi is equal to x can be written as root 3r by r because in the question they have said reactance is root 3 times the resistance therefore r and r will cancel i will get tan phi equal to root 3 now tell me tan of which angle is equal 16. to root 3 16 tan 16. of 60 degree or pi by 3 as simple as that check start with question number 9 start with question number 9 okay let us start together they have said an alternating voltage e is equal to 200 root 2 sin 
hundred T is connected to one microfarad capacitor. One microfarad means ten power minus six because one micro means ten power minus six farad capacitor through an AC ammeter. Now reading of an ammeter. Now tell me, ammeter always gives you RMS current. Okay, yeah. ammeter or see any hot wire instruments. You know, hot wire means instantaneous value. Right? Will always measure RMS values. Okay, hot wire ammeter, hot wire voltmeter, or ammeter voltmeter. They always measure RMS values. Now I want to calculate the value for ammeter. Now you know ammeter. Please look at the screen. Can I say in this particular case, ammeter reading will be E R M S upon opposition. What is an opposition for a capacitive circuit? Can I say opposition for a capacitive circuit is X C. Therefore, I have to calculate E R M S upon X C. Start. Tell me what is ERMS? First, what is ERMS? Can I say e ERMS? ERMS two. is E naught by root two. Now, what is E naught? Two hundred root two upon root two. Therefore, can I say ERMS is two hundred? Correct. Now, what is the value for X C? Now, the value for X C will by be omega one C. by omega C equal to one by omega can be written 100. as hundred because here sine omega t omega is hundred and C is given as ten power minus six. Therefore, can I write X C is equal to one by 100 can be written as 10 square into 10 power minus 6 is equal to 1 by 10 power minus 4. 1 by 10 power minus 4, if I take it to the numerator, it becomes 10 power plus 4. Therefore, xc is 10 power plus 4. Hmm. Now tell me, if I substitute 200 by 10 power plus 4, what is the answer that I will get? Start. Therefore, two hundred ten power minus two. Two into ten power minus two. Two into ten power minus two. But if you look at this, two into ten power minus two. Correct. But if you look at the options, all options are in milliampere. Now, all options are in milliampere means all options are in into ten power minus three. Therefore, two into twenty, 10 into. Power, 20 into ten power minus three. That means twenty milliampere. Check whether you're getting this answer. Okay. Question number 11, take it as your next homework. Question number 11, take it as your next homework. Question number 12, start solving now. Question number 11, take it as your next homework. How many homework done, please let me know. Question number 12, start solving now. Nine. Nine, I'll give you one. Question number 12, start solving now. That's all with for question number 12.
Okay, now see question number 12. When AC voltage is applied to a resistance R and inductor L in series, that means they're talking about RL circuit. If R is the inductive, if R and the inductive reactants both are equal to 3 ohm, that means R is equal to 3 ohm and inductive reactance is also equal to 3 ohm. Then the phase difference. Now, actual formula for tan phi is XL minus XC by R. But in this case, it will only become XL by R because it is only LR circuit. And both are given as 3 ohm. XL is also given as 3 and R is also given as 3. Therefore, can I say tan phi equal to 1? which is equal to pi by 4, because 10 pi by 4 is 1. Therefore, answer is C. Just check. Therefore, answer is C. Got it? Hmm. Yes. Question number 13, next homework. Question number 13, next homework. Question number 15, we have done it already in a part of our theory questions. Just check question number 15. We have done this question as an MCQ already. Yes. So mark question number 15 that is done. Just check all of you. We have already finished question number 15. Now, question number 16, start. Question number 16 starts off. Give me the answers now. Question number 16. Okay, answer is correct. Yes, uh, answer is A. People are giving me the answer as A. Giving me the right answers. Just check. People are giving me the answers as A. I'm giving me the right answers. Okay, I will solve it. A coil of inductive reactance 31 ohm, that means XL is 31, has a resistance R of 8 ohm. It is placed in series with a condenser of capacitive reactance 25 ohm. The combination is connected to an AC source of 110 volt. What is the power factor of the circuit? Now, power factor of a circuit is cos phi is equal to R by Z. Now, R by Z can be written as R by square root of R square plus XL minus XC the whole square or cos phi is equal to R divided by square root of R square plus. Tell me what is XL minus XC? 
31 minus 25. 6, no, what can I say? Correct. Now, what is R square? 64. 64, therefore, instead of this, I can take 64. Now, what is 64 plus 36? 100. 64 plus 36, can I write this as 100? Uh, square root of 100, I will take it as 10. 10. 10. And R in the question, it is given as 8. R in the question is given as 8. Therefore, it is 8 by 10, which is 0 0.8. Therefore, answer will be A. Just check. Answer will be A. Okay. Question number 19, take it as your next homework. Question number 19, take it as your next homework. Question number 23, start solving. Question number 23, start solving. Question number 23. The magnetic potential energy stored in a certain inductor, that means the energy that is stored in an inductor is 25 into 10 power minus 3 joule. And the current in an inductor is 60 into 10 power minus 3. This inductor is of inductance. Now, in fact, this is a question from EMI topic, not AC current topic, because last chapter we studied that e energy to half in L square. Half L square. Half L. Correct. Energy of an inductor is half L I square. Okay. Now, from there, L is equal to 2 E upon I square. Correct. L is equal to 2E upon I square. Therefore, it is 2 into 25 into 10 power minus 3 upon 60 into 10 power minus 3, the whole square. Tell me what answer is it approximately? Thirteen point eight. Answer will be thirteen point something or fourteen point something, fifteen point something does not matter. You know why? Because look at the options. First option is zero point something. Second option is one thirty eight point something. Next option is one point something, and next option is thirteen point something. They were even if you get twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Can I say you can manage the answer as D? Just check. You can approximate the answer to D anyhow because the other options are very far off. The other options are very, very far off. Therefore, I can say the answer is B directly.
check and tell me if you're getting the answer as approximately 14. That is 13.89. Yeah. Question number 26, start. Question number 26, start. Now the question is, a coil of inductance L has an inductive reactance of XL and blah, blah, blah. And what they mean to say is there is no resistance. Check. Ultimately, what they mean to say, R is zero. And we have done our derivation where R is zero, cos Y is zero, power is zero. The whole answer is A. Understood? So whenever you find there is no resistance, power will be zero. And they have clearly mentioned that it has no resistance directly. Therefore, I can directly say the answer is A. Okay. Turn the page. And the last question for today. Last question for today and last question of the chapter. Okay. Easy question. Question number 29. Start. Question number 27 is your homework. Question number 29. Start. Tell me with question number 27, how many homework have you got? 12. 12. 12, okay. Start with 29. It is a direct question. The question is, what is the impedance of the circuit? It is square root of R square plus XL square. XL square means two pi FL the whole square. Therefore, Z is equal to square root of R square plus four pi square F square L square, correct? Therefore, answer will be B. Therefore, answer will be B. Clear? Okay. Yes. Now try to answer 30th one also. Start. Try to answer 30th one also. The coil of choke in a circuit. Now, you know, choke is made up of only inductance. That means its XL value will be very high. That means its opposition will be very high because XL is opposition. 
if opposition is very high, can I say current will decrease? So for which option matches? Option B. Just check. I've given you the sequence. B. Answer will be B. Got it? I will do one more, and this will be the last one. We don't have to do it because they don't ask this kind of questions anymore. But for safety, we will do it. That is question number 31. Okay, just listen to me carefully. Now, question number 31. This is the last question. Okay, now listen. Question number 31 is a hybrid question. Now tell me in question number 31, in last year in electromagnetic waves, have you studied this formula? Speed of yes. light is equal to wavelength into frequency. Or can I say speed of light is equal to wavelength into frequency? Now, look at question number 31. Can I say wavelength is given as 300 meter, correct? Yes. And can I say speed of light is a constant value, 3 into 10 power 8? Now, can I say from this data, can I get the value for frequency? Everyone tell me, yes or no? From this data, yeah. can I get the value of yes. frequency, correct? Now, tell me, what is the value of frequency? Start. Ten power six. Correct. Now, I got the value for frequency. Now, what they are saying? What is the value for inductance for a resonant circuit? Now, tell me, what is the formula for a resonant circuit? Everyone, look at the screen. F is equal to one by two pi root lc please everyone look at the screen do you know this formula for resonant frequency yes. f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc let me write it over here can i say f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc i have to find the value for l check check please look at the screen i have to find the value for l now if i want to find the value of l i will do square on both sides okay so tell me what will happen it will become f square is equal to 1 by 4 pi square l c. Correct? Or l is equal to 1 by 4 pi square f square c. Tell me, Tilia, did you understand? Yes. Yes, sir. Now, Can I substitute one by one the values? Now tell me, L is equal to one by four. Can I say pi square is approximately equal to 10? F square, what is F you got from the previous line? 10 F you got 10, six, power, ten six. power six. So 10 power six, the whole square into C. What is the value of C given in the question? 2.4 into 10 power minus six, correct? 2.4 into 10 power minus 6. Simplify and tell me. Therefore, I can say L equal to 1 divided by 4 into 10. What is 10 power 6 the whole square? Can I say it is 10 power 12, 12 into 2.4 into 10 power minus 6. Can I write it as 24 into 10 power minus 7? Can I write it like that? Can I write it as yeah. 24 into 10 power minus 7? Now look at the options. Are the options in Millie Henry, Henry, Micro Henry, what? Can I say all Henry. my options are in Henry itself? Therefore, I, I will get an answer which is close to Henry itself. Therefore, L equal to 1 by 4. Now, please look at this. 10 into 10 power 12 is what? 10 power 13? 10 power 13 and 10 power minus 7 is how much? 10 power 13 and 10 power minus 7. 
Hmm? Now can you get the answer? Start. What is twenty four into four? One forty four. Okay, I'm already getting some answers. Okay. Tell me the answer. So one upon ninety six into ten raised to minus six. No, what is twenty four into four? That much it is. Ninety six now. Ninety six. Okay, ninety six. Yeah. Okay. Now I will take ninety six approximately as hundred. Now can you solve? Yeah. It will be ten power minus six. Minus eight, correct. It will become ten power minus eight because if you look at the options, options are directly ten power only, correct? That means they have also approximated. We will also approximate. Therefore, ten hundred into ten power six is ten power eight. Ten power eight in the numerator will become ten power minus eight. That's it. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah. So look at twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Tell me if you can manage all. Yeah. with that we complete the chapter next chapter i will start in the next class itself okay next chapter sir so 24 into 496 is the answer which one which question we will start with the chapter that i'll announce which chapter suraj okay so i think this sunday itself you have ac circuits or your next sunday when do you have it when do you have AC? Sir? This, this Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Okay, then I will inform you on Sunday evening itself, which is the next chapter I'm going to start and the future uh, chapters. Okay, so in the meantime, start studying this chapter. I think next time we don't have any chapter. We have a combined test after AC. Yeah. Yes, the cumulative. Yeah. So in the meantime, we will uh, do one more chapter and then we can have that test. So keep studying this. All the best. And I'll start with the next chapter next week. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.